Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss question number five, which was asked in GS paper two of Civil Services Mains Examination 2023. First of all, let's see the question. The question was discuss the role of presiding officers of state legislature in maintaining order and impartiality in what in conducting legislative work and in facilitating best democratic practices. The question was asked in 10 marks and answer should be given in 150 words. So why this question was asked? The question was asked directly from the part of slavers where it is written state legislature conduct of business and functioning. Here the role of presiding officer can be a part of conduct of business. The another possible reason for asking such a question may be due to the recent happening in Maharashtra Legislative Assembly, where there was a disqualification of MLAs from Maharashtra Legislative Assembly. So, after putting this into perspective, let's discuss one possible modal answer for this question. For introduction of this question, you can write about the constitutional provision with respect to the presiding officer of the house of state legislatures or you can write about conduct of legislative work in a state legislative assembly or a state legislative council so here you can write about article 178 or article 182 you can also write about article 208 under article 178 Constitution provide for a speaker or a deputy speaker for a state legislative assembly. Under Article 182, similarly, Constitution provide for a chairman or a deputy chairman for a state legislative council if a state has one. Under Article 208, Constitution says that state legislatures can make rule of procedure for conduct of its business subject to the constitutional provision. If you don't remember any of these articles, you can also start with a statement which describe the major functioning of presiding officer. You can write about the presiding officer is the final interpreter of the constitutional provision or rule of procedure of the house or the parliamentary president in the house. So after this we can move on to the main body part of the question. The main part of the question is in two parts. The question is about role of presiding officer. The first one is about conducting legislative work. The second part is about in facilitating best democratic practices. In conducting legislative work, the question is asking about the role of presiding officer in maintaining order or in maintaining impartiality. Maintaining impartiality by a presiding officer of a state legislatures becomes important because in Indian parliamentary democracy, the presiding officer of the house usually belongs to the ruling party or ruling government. Plus, under certain constitutional provision and rule of the procedure, he also has some discretionary powers. So maintaining impartiality by the presiding officer in this sense becomes very important. Now, let's see through some example. For example, in under anti-defection law of 10th schedule, the presiding officer is the authority which decide on the disqualification of a defecting MLA or MLCs. If the decision is taken by the presiding officer by some political interest, it may lead to the disqualification of genuine MLAs or MLCs. So here, the maintaining impartiality by the presiding officer in conduct of legislative work becomes important. Similarly, under Article 189, presiding officer does not cast their vote on the first instance. They cast their vote when there is a equality of vote in the house. So here also maintaining impartiality becomes very important. They have to cast their vote in the public interest rather than in a political interest. 
and maintain impartiality in conducting legislative work also under article 199 constitution provides money bill for the state legislature here the presiding officer certification for a bill as a money bill is final so here also to maintain financial accountability the impartial role of presiding officer that is a speaker in the state legislative assembly becomes important another point can be his role or presiding officer's role as final interpreter of constitutional provision and rule of procedure in the house the interpretation of constitutional provision or the role of the procedure of the house should be impartial they should not favor any political party over others and the interpretation should not be against one individual or mla or mlc in the house after discussing this we will discuss the role of presiding officer in maintaining order in maintaining order because the legislative work in the house happened in the guidance of presiding officer the role of presiding officer in maintaining order becomes very important even the efficiency of state legislature directly translate into the development of the state the inefficiency of state legislature also result into the improper legislation which will impact the functioning in the state now putting this into perspective let's discuss his role presiding officer's role in maintaining order he through conduct of business in the house maintain order through series of parliamentary devices for example like question hour zero hour there is order through which house works so he maintain order as a presiding officer here he also decides which member of the house will speak and for how much time will he speak so through this also he maintain order in the house third part of the answer may be that he decides when a member of the house use unparliamentary languages create obstruction in the functioning of the house or violate any constitutional provision or rule of the procedure of the house he is the authority which expel or suspend that particular member for a temporary period so through this he also maintains order in the house there is another point if the order in the house cannot be maintained through the available constitutional devices presiding officer is the authority which adjourn the house by giving a particular time for assembling of the house or adjourn sine day without giving any particular time to reassemble so we have discussed the role of presiding officer in conducting legislative work maintaining order in conducting legislative work and impar maintaining impartiality in conducting legislative work let's now move on to the other part of the answer which is in facilitating best democratic practices in facilitating best democratic practices state legislature is a representative body in the state so the functioning of it directly influence the life of people living in the state that is the citizen so in facilitating best democratic practices the role of presiding officer becomes very important how he can do that he is the authority which forms a state legislative committee so while forming such a committee he should ensure that every section of the house get a fair representation in the committee like women or marginalized society or minor political parties now another way of facilitating best democratic practices can be through facilitating compromises and consensus 
when the house is divided on a issue the presiding officer should ensure that the house first compromise and consensus are built on the issue rather than putting it to the vote voting on a issue should be the last resort third you can write about working of a house should be on the principle of accountability and transparency here the reports provided by the government should be properly scrutinized or discussed by the house and presiding officer should facilitate that now after discussing the main body part we will move on to the conclusion part of the answer in conclusion it's always best in polity to conclude your answer with three things either with the best practice or with a committee or with a supreme court case in best practice you can write about uk's parliamentary practice in uk to ensure the neutrality of the presiding officer they follow the practice of once a speaker always a speaker here in committee you can write about vs page committee which recommended that to ensure the neutrality of the presiding officer's office the presiding officer should be debarred from holding any political office after their retirement in supreme court case you can write about kihoto kolohon case here supreme court emphasizing on the role of presiding officer in maintaining neutrality struck down para 7 of 10th schedule which was about putting presiding officer decision out of judicial review so this was the one possible modal answer for this question now let's see the modal answer through slides in this as we already discussed you can write about article 178 article 182 in main body you can divide your answer in two part first one being maintaining order and impartiality here you can write about the things we already discuss disruption the role of presiding officer in maintaining order in facilitating best democratic practices we already discuss these points and in conclusion you can write about uk's practice and the schedule or vs page committee with this we conclude our discussion thank you